I usually leave Farouk's mane loosely plaited because he's a horse that has very fine hair altogether and his mane is no exception and if you leave it loose because it's so long it gets very tangled very quickly. He's not a horse that rubs his mane like Apollo. I can't leave Apollo's mane in at all because he would just rub it and Bella we don't have any problem with because her mane isn't very long at all. long plaits. anticipating his dinner. <laughs> He's a good boy. Go on back. Good boy. Good boy. Head down. Good boy. going to have a little bit more dinner now he's coming back into work so he's got his outshine balancer and um, sort of half a scoop of sugar beet so he's having a bit more sugar beet now than he was and he's having outshine he's always had the balancer but he's having the outshine now so he needs that bit more energy he's going to be coming back into work Very dainty eater, Farouk. If you compare him with Apollo and Bella. <laughs> Bella is now number two, well behind Apollo as herd leader, but Farouk um, is a gentle soul and she can be a bit nippy with him and he just lets her uh, get away with stuff. 
but that's his nature and uh, I don't think he minds being number three to Bella. He had a bit of a learning curve of being not number one with Apollo when he first came, but he settled down and realised that you know, Apollo's older, wiser and a lot bigger and much more powerful than him. He's a dainty little Arab and Apollo's a big chunky Frisian. enjoyed the video don't forget to comment or leave an emoji and a thumbs up thank you if you would like to catch up on some of our earlier videos just click on the apollo icon which will take you to our home page we have over a thousand videos to choose from you can also sort by the most popular the oldest or the newest thanks for watching ttfn